My name is Herb Hall. I am the CEO and President of Sierra Boat Company here on Lake Tahoe. The company started in 1952 and was selling new wooden boats at that time and basically never stopped working on wooden boats. They were always uh, wooden boats around and the company always had craftsmen around that knew how to work on that stuff and I learned from those old guys uh, how to do this kind of stuff. I started out here doing a lot of things. I mean I pumped gas and I moved boats around and I think they figured out very quickly I was pretty good with my hands and so they would put me in the shop doing various little projects on some of the boats that were in the, in the shops. I've been doing this now for just over 40 years. I'm very much a mechanic at heart and I love doing the mechanical aspects of these boats. The hull and the gauges and the upholstery and all that has to be correct. It has to be correct mechanically too and that's something I, I really like to get the details right. At any given time there's at least a dozen boats in the shop being worked on at the same time. The first step whenever we get a boat in is we really give it a full assessment. We really go through it, check the condition of the wood, what kind of condition is the bottom of the boat in, what condition is it in mechanically, does the engine need to be rebuilt, and upholstery and wiring and gauges and everything else. And so we will spend quite a bit of time really putting together a comprehensive estimate of everything that needs to be done. A full restoration is really where you're literally taking a boat down to the frames and you're not necessarily replacing it, but um, at least refastening the entire boat. It's pretty common that you need to replace the bottoms if it's never been done. We always say the boat's got to float and it's got to run, so uh, the bottoms are essential to make it float well. The woods used in these boats are mahogany, however, not all mahoganies are what they call true mahoganies. There's three different mahoganies that are used. There's Philippine, there's Honduran, and there's African, and those are loose terms. They're actually all three different species of wood, but they all look the same. They're all classified as mahoganies. You know, wood itself is just an art form. It's a piece of sculpture, so when you have highly varnished pieces and then chrome and everything else. It stands out differently than anything modern would. Sometimes you got a boat that all it needs is some fresh varnish on it, and other times you're, you're down to the skeleton of the boat and you're doing absolutely everything on it. So a simple boat coming in and just needing some varnish, that could take anywhere from 50 to 100 hours, you get into a full restoration and you're, you know, you can get up to a thousand hours. The boat names on most of the boats here are done by a sign painter who's worked for us for over 35 years and he's just a master at it. He does these absolutely by hand. He doesn't use any stencils or anything like that. He'll outline the name and he'll just hand paint it and sometimes they're done in paint and sometimes they're done in gold leaf and there's not many people that know how to do gold leaf anymore but he's really excellent at it. Just from the earliest age I loved being in boats. Even as a kid I really appreciated that old world craftsmanship and just craftsmanship in general which certainly by the, the 60s was disappearing quickly. I think it's always important to preserve history. A hundred years from now, I want somebody to, be able to get into a boat we did and say, this is exactly how the factory did it. We produced some amazing stuff back in the day, and people need to be able to go back to these boats and look at them and appreciate that heritage.